Now we'll keep marching for side control. <coughs> it is so important to learn and use the net as your friend because in the reality is when we get tired, even if you don't like to be in the bar, we end up lying down and hold someone or someone's across. And the most important thing in Jiu Jitsu that sometimes is not as fence as a nice flying on bar, this move here, this move there, is your defense. The more you learn how to position yourself, you avoid the worst. And that's where the defense gets good. It's not after somebody has my arm, what should I do now? There becomes a chance for him to get your arm, and maybe a chance for you to escape. That is the reality of what we do. The defense is always a step back when you have the arms are straight. Now it's gambling. It can be either one. How did he get into this position? That's what I need to learn to avoid to get there. He will have side control on me. And this is a very common control. See, this, and we are tired. One thing that I recommend is always bring your arms close to you because a lot of times my arms are sticking out. And a lot of you guys already know how to do your hip skate, how to avoid a lot of the situations, but the key in Jiu-Jitsu is when is the right time? Right now, it would not be the right time for me to try to skate. I limited a lot my options. If I try to roll, I'm literally <coughs> stuck. The goal now is how can I get my elbows close to me again? That's why I want to start working one shoulder at a time. That one is in, very difficult to get in. I want to make sure the elbows are close to me. Close the gate. I will say close the gate because that will stay with you now. If I drop my leg, it's an open invitation for him to get in. I want to make sure that if you want to improve his position, he's going to have to be in my elbow and open the gate. Now we're going to do some tricks to our partner. Many times over here, what I do is I kind of rely and relax this way. I want him to actually try to mount. See the problem? He has no room. See my legs? Right here. If I go this way, yes. I want to make sure you understand that my hip and my legs would be going this way. But when he steps his leg like in and starts mounting, you know, look, I want to make sure you guys understand that I do this. My hand, my elbow, this side and that side, and I try. The more he tries to mount, even better he's put up. I strap his leg. But I take his momentum over this way to push the hip. See my hand in? Now I'm actually on top of him. Yeah. If I keep my feet, my leg straight, you can easily go. Many times he start working and he even get his knee in my stomach to start mounting. Instead of fighting, I'm actually going with him. You become literally a surfboard. The surfboards are turning, he falls, but I want to make sure that his arm that holds me, I try. My elbow is close to my back. Again, please. This is a very common position. Well, how often we get hit like that. And now, unfortunately, we, until we learn, good luck. Try to spend the rest of the energy you have there. Now it's time to retreat a little, and as soon as he starts moving towards me, say how long that goes. Go ahead, mop, 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 mop. see my hand on his head. I'm on the knees, but I don't fight him back. I just go with. End up skate, end up rolling, okay? Just because of the positions of my legs, this way. Can we do that? Yes. All right, let's go.